This bright orange fungus might be the future of sustainable food. So I actually look at how we can take food waste and use fungi to ferment and convert that into delicious, nutritious, sustainable foods. Like a burger patty made from the waste material left over for making oat milk. Yummy. Meet Vayu Hilmaini, a UC Berkeley postdoc researcher who has a paper in Nature Microbiology about using this orange mold to transform food waste into new flavors. What I've done is actually studied a traditional process in Indonesia where people take food waste from soy milk and make a delicious meat substitute called onchom. We uncovered this fungus called Neurospora intermedia. You can see it here growing in a petri dish. And what we learned is that this fungus has a unique ability to grow on a lot of different wastes from the food system. Those wastes, Helmini has found, range from spent brewing grains to tomato and apple pulp, and even almond shells, which could lead to new ingredients and new culinary experiences. One of the key things, I think, for me, having worked in food and in cooking, is that how do we make sure that these discoveries don't just stay in the lab? Helmini, who worked in fine dining before pursuing science, has already partnered with Michelin-starred restaurants like Copenhagen's Alchemist to serve Neurospora dishes. And he's worked with New York's Blue Hill at Stone Barns to set up a Neurospora lab and kitchen. Chefs are cultural voices in food. So if we can take our findings and research and work with those people, I think you know, we can unlock some really new, exciting possibilities. Helmini knows that moldy food may raise concerns, but his research shows that Neurospora fare is safe. We analyzed it in molecular detail. We, we looked at, does it produce any known mycotoxins? Mycotoxins are toxins that are produced by fungi. They can have detrimental health effects. We did not find that Neurospora had a capacity to make any such toxins. And so from that perspective, it should be safe. We also get the nutritional value. You know, what might this fungus do to the substrate that it grows on? And we found that the protein content actually might increase depending on the substrate. So you're getting a nutritional boost. And then finally, the sensory attributes. How do people perceive the texture, the flavor, and the appearance of the food? And initial research suggests it's tasty. Human subjects who tried Neurospora dishes for the first time rated the new foodstuff a six on a one to nine scale. With that data, and the historical long process of consuming and using Neurospora, we are confident that this might be a promising solution moving forward. Someday, Helmini thinks we may enjoy Neurospora fermented foods, like this oat milk waste burger, much the way we've come to enjoy other fungal enhanced foods, like soy sauce, kombucha, bread, and many cheeses. You know, my long term vision is really to look at these large kind of waste streams that come out of our food system. Look at them as an opportunity, as an ingredient in and of itself. You know, why does it have to be called waste? I hope one day you go to the store and you have your meats and you have your tofu and maybe you have your Neurospora foods as one of the alternatives and one of the options that are available to you that are tasty, they're nutritious, and they also happen to be made in a very sustainable and circular way. The fungus really kind of binds it together. It makes it more savory, more umami. It's just a delicious piece of food.